Hey RM, this is the movie room and I do want to touch up on a few things in this video. Christmas hasn't come around yet, so if I get anything then I'll probably get a TV show. My brain keeps going back and forth between TV shows and VHS. But VHS on eBay is costing now 40, 50, 60 bucks a piece, so they're too expensive for me. And that's why I haven't been adding too many VHS. So I'm trying to add some more of the newer movies into my collection. But it won't be much because a lot of it's gone back into food. So I have to balance out my uh, meals properly. And by doing that, I have to cut out a lot of the uh, online uh, media buying and thrifting. I don't get much either. But I will try to get out thrifting maybe every two months, not every month. And just go from there with whatever I could add on Christmas. I'll pop in something somewhere, but I'm not going to get much more changes than this. I tried to start another shelf in the back, but that would take out a lot of money out of my uh, lunch, and it's not possible. So I would need to start that one. I would need to finish off this one. And it's a couple of hundred bucks to make a few shelves, so. I could use that towards uh, my better, uh, having a better meal. And I'll try to add a little something every now and then, wherever I can afford it. Even old music now is getting very expensive, so I'm glad I held on to this many of them. So I got at least those to go through. And the games. For now, I think this is the most this room is going to look like with uh, the shelving changes I started here. That took quite a bit out last year. And it may look like a lot nicer, like a video store would have a setup like this. And that's the look I was going for for this room. So, thanks for watching. I fixed up the shelf in the back as best I could. So, I'll give you the brief little walkthrough where I made some changes the most right now. I tried to level off uh, the spacing. So, I think it looks pretty good. Bottom shelf could be adjusted a little bit, I think. I'll see down the line how the spacing is on the bottom shelf and the top part I might trim off a little bit it's not enough to fit another movie but it's uh, well well off I could put another little shelf in the bottom to get more if I go back into a VHS I would have to buy a lot because there's still a few uh, franchises I don't have and Christmas uh, I'll decide if I'm gonna go into VHS again or into uh, some more TV shows but I don't know I'll see when the time comes but for now this is the best I could do with shelving and storage and thanks for watching so there's two aisles in this room and if I get 20-30 bucks extra it needs to be into uh, the snacks and anything else after that will be towards uh, the movies or music or wherever I can afford to get a little something so this is the best setup I could do like I don't have a movie room ju just dedicated to VHS or just dedicated to a uh, DVD or just dedicated to a uh, gaming room because I do have a little bit of everything in here music so this is how the room how room it should be you, you don't need to have uh, high-end neon signs in your room. You don't need to have uh, display cases. A lot of people that have stuff like that, they have way too much money. And they don't know where else to put it. So they buy uh, those kind of high-end gaming cabinets and stuff like that. You don't, you, you don't need that. You just need your movies. And if you're going for some music, some games, and that's how you set up uh, 
proper uh, room. A lot of people will on YouTube now go all out do a pure gaming room, but there's no point to it. You're never gonna have all the games on all the systems. So do what you can with what you have, and hopefully you're learning something from me. And it's a lot of work to set up a just a, a room like this. Thanks for watching.